Our next fight is the signed professional fight scheduled for three rounds in the London KO featherweight division. Please welcome your first fighter to the cage. Consensor! And please welcome his opponent, William Pets. My name is Will Pets. I'm fighting Khan Sensor, fighting out of Trojan, representing Mongoose Tire. Well, this is my debut, so I've got to make a show out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is scheduled for three rounds in the London KO featherweight division. Introducing your first fighter, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He weighed in at 66 kilograms. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, fighting out of Trojans, Consensor! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He weighed in at 66 kilograms. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. Fighting out of Mongoose Thai, William Pets. And when the action begins, the man in charge is Dan Movahedi. So here we go, London KO. I'm Rob Nutley. With me, Mark Carlin and Pete Mercer. As we go into this featherweight bout, Khan Sensor versus William Pettis and both guys transitions to positions beautifully already. Khan showing off some pretty exceptional BJJ here. Looks for the arm bar, misses, looks for the knee bar. Beautiful work. Khan Sensor showing some really, really good grappling skills. I mean, Carl Sensor is the third time in the cage. He's one, two, and oh. And he's definitely going to look for a W today, isn't he, Rob? He looks as though he's 2-0, oh, um, but he's got three fights. That's a lot of experience on a debuter. So um, already he's um, shown a lot of composure. He's gone for um, two submissions. It's going to be one out of a fight. I think uh, William Petz has got his workout out so far. Oh! Good kick. <laughs> oh. Beautiful work by Pettis. Big Willie style in there. Just looked like Leonardo Machida's front kick to the jaw. Landed flush. It was beautiful technique. Now your friend Alex Reid, he's a massive fan of that. The slapping front kick. It's one of those kicks you just don't see coming. Oh, look at that. Went for a jump. Straight into the arm bar. He jumps and then for the knee bar again. Oh. This time it could be on. It's on. You could see the pain and the anguish in the face of... William just showed William some absolute Pettis. grit then. Fantastic grit. He was grimacing in pain and didn't tap. Now, when you're caught, it's such a hard place to be because you can literally see the lock being put down on you. Oh, fantastic. I'm really impressed with William Pett's heart then. I feel William should try and get back up onto his feet because that's where his strengths are in this fight. He's almost ended up, if he gets his leg free, he's in a very um, good position. Khan Sensor for me showing some very, very good grand skills. I like was we talking earlier about the semi-pro rules. If it wasn't a semi-pro fight, he could drop his left forearm into a guy's face. Great first round. And for me, guys, I'd have to give that one to Khan Sensor purely because he was forcing the action with the submission attempts. Yeah, 100% correct. Now, Khan Sensor also, down over to Mark Epstein in this corner. Bang! So here we go, Khan Sensor, William Petz, both guys to the centre of the cage. And do you think we'll see the same from Khan this time around, Pete? I do, yeah. I was just listening to Mark Epstein then in his corner. He said, stick to the same game plan. Just open him up with straight shots and straight to the takedown. I have to say, really impressed by him. He just jumps into transitions. Now, Khan not looking that comfortable getting striked. His guard's a little low. He's not looking a fan of being tagged in the canister. Good work again by Sensor. Ooh. Those inside leg kicks landing. I think William Pepsi is. Uh, oh, Ooh, just as I said that, he goes huge combination. 
now Willie there just slinging lovely inside leg kick left hook it's a nice technique oh lovely cut and angle then now lovely Khan rolls beautifully into guard position now great work by Pets to reverse it again but you can see the legs of Khan constantly working as he works up high oh looking to get Yuma Plata will he be able to get it doesn't get it his opponent rolls out very very well in my eyes Willie Pettis needs to literally hold him down get stood up and continue with the good striking he got him with an amazing spinning back fist he could utilize that he's outclassed him on stand up and when he goes to the ground he's not looking good at all Khan is relentless with those submissions. He's going again for another armbar. Good work by Pets with those leg kicks. A beautiful second round. I think he's going to go for it in the third round. Put it on him. <laughs> technique there by Pets attacking aggressively now with his strikes great takedown now from Khan this fight really going backwards and forwards if Khan can just keep him on the floor I'm sure he's gonna get the sub well you know he's had the first and second round to pull off a sub the guy's getting sweatier now it's gonna be harder to get that submission he's had so many attempts to get it a greasy Willie really in the cage a slippery Willie in the cage. I mean, William has shown lots of heart and determination. He's been very close to getting submitted, and he hasn't. Now, I'd so. like to point out here that this is only going to work in William Pett's advantage. Now, William is looking fresh with the two. So he here like he we wants go. It more. The guys come together again. Pett's feeding out that jab, trying to find his range. Khan possibly looking to slip in and under for the takedown. This really has been a battle of striker versus grappler. Yeah, it has. It's been back and forth. It's been a really good fight to watch. And unusually, the striker able to keep the fight upright. Both now, guys look pretty tired on their feet now, though. I mean, Khan should literally be trying to win this on points. Go for the takedown. Just charge in. You've got nothing to lose now. Khan needs to be shown, throwing some feints with his hands to get Williams' attention and drop to a, drop another level for a shoot. So far, he just seems to be getting his breath and backing up. When you've got a grappler versus a striker, the rule of three can really work. Oh, I love that. Double right hand. Picking his shots really well. Khan opting not to use the guard there. Cool, That's so it. the amount of energy it takes to drive for that takedown. I just don't think Khan's got it in his tank. Yeah, that's well said. It takes a lot of energy. Mark Epstein there giving a, uh, an outsider's viewpoint. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. After three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges scored this bout 29 28, 29 28, and 29 28. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of Mongoose Ty William Pets. <laughs> All right, I'm here at the winner, William Pets. William, fantastic fight. Quick pace to that fight. Give us your thoughts. <laughs> Catch your breath and give us your thoughts. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Joe Suwa, Lily Guys, Monkey's Tire Club, Trojan, Tommy Gun, all the boys down there. It's been, yeah. Very, very well done. Fantastic job. Ladies and gentlemen, William Pets. <laughs> okay, I'm here also with, uh, with Kai Sensor. Kai, you've got a couple words you want to say as well? I took this fight yesterday. I hope he appreciates this, so... He took this yeah. fight yesterday. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Khan Sensor! Well, ladies and gentlemen, our next fight...
fight is scheduled for three rounds in the London KO semi-professional welterweight division. Please welcome your first fighter to the blue corner, Tom Wincott.